Morning everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. And I know it's been a while, it's been been kind of busy, summer's been great, but getting back to certain things here uh, in the Linux community. Hopefully you've caught me on Big Daddy Linux, BDDL Live on Saturday nights. I'm there every couple of weeks. So, at any rate, so SSD price has been dropping very, rather quickly. So it looked like about the time to pull the trigger on an upgrade for the old ThinkPad that I use for all my development stuff. So what I've got right now is I've got a a crucial two and a half inch, seven millimeter thick, 250 gig SSD. Uh, it's not the most expensive SSD on the planet. This computer is not worth the most expensive D SSD on the planet. So we're going with an inexpensive one. I think I've got. Um, well, I don't know, 60 bucks in this or something. So uh, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them direct from Crucial. So I'll be upgrading this machine with this, but I've got a terabyte disk on this drive, so what am I going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the partitions. And I'm going to clone the partitions and keep my data drives and my development drives on the existing terabyte drive. So I'm going to actually have two drives in this computer because I found one of these guys for $15. There we go. For 15 bucks, we got a little drive caddy that will replace the DVD drive. This machine still has a DVD drive. I'm going to utilize the bay for something a little more useful. And if I ever do want to watch DVD, hey, just swap it out. Swap it back in. So the SSD fits snugly into this. The SSD will eventually become the the primary boot drive after I'm done cloning partitions. Now, I'm probably just going to go ahead and do a fresh install of MX because, to be honest, I can probably set the thing up faster than I can clone the drive. But, okay, remember, I'm not a purist. I do have Windows on this computer. I have a few games installed on Windows. I really don't want to go through the hell of misery I went through the last time I upgraded the hard drive trying to get Windows and reinstalled. So, I'm going to attempt, attempt, to move Windows, uh, the Windows installation on here as well, which is going to involve moving the recovery partitions, the UEFI partition, all that stuff, because Windows expects some of that to be there, onto the SSD drive. That should make both operating systems boot rather quickly. And then, of course, if something goes haywire with the, with the experiment, I can always wipe this drive and start again because I'm not touching the terabyte drive. So this guy will go in the, in the auxiliary drive bay for the cloning operation. I'm running off of the live USB stick right now uh, for this, and that's how I'm recording. I'm recording on the live USB, so my internal drive is not being used right now. But I need a key piece of software. So I need a key piece of software, and I'm going to go into Synaptic to get it. I'm going to move my mug over here, and I'm going to get a piece of software called Clonezilla. Now, Clonezilla is brilliant software for cloning partitions, for cloning drives. A lot of people re realize, oh, I'll get a Clonezilla ISO, and I've done that, and that works brilliant. Um, I'm going to try just using the regular old MX uh, Live USB along with uh, the Clonezilla software from the Debian repo that they package. Uh, let's see. Bubba -dubba 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 -dubba. Fine. Let's see if there's anything recommended. Because I think there was. I'm going to get it. I don't know if I need it, but I'm going to grab it. And we're going to hit apply. Because in the Debian on Debian main, uh, when you when you install in Synaptic when you're on mainline Debian, it actually installs all the recommended stuff already uh, automatically. A lot of Debian-based distros don't do that; they just install the Prime package uh, and then let you install the recommends separately. So we're gonna click Apply. We're gonna let Synaptic do its thing. Now, why am I not using MX package installer for this? I can. I, Synaptic was here; it was fine. It doesn't matter how you install it. You can have, get it from the command line if you want to. I'm going to use Clonezilla for this. So this is part one, uh, kind of an introduction to what I'm going to be doing here over the next, uh, hopefully just today, getting this thing migrated over. Uh, if the if the migration, if the Windows partition migrations go well, um, then I will jump over into um, setting up a new MX installation and getting syncing up all my data files back to my holder because I'm not getting rid of any of my data. All my data is sitting nice and safe on actually on two because I have a backup, two one terabyte drives. So we're going to set that up uh, after the Windows clone uh, win Windows uh, installation is cloned over. Again, I'm not planning to clone my existing MX installation. 
because I actually have set up this live USB in a custom manner so that to make my reinstallation very easy and I'll cover that in a later video because it's been a while since I've done an installation video and uh, in other planned videos here in the short term I'm going to have a new video on MX package installer because there's been some significant improvements and I'm also going to have a video on um, a new a new option called MX boot options and then also a couple odds and ends here and there that things have been updated over the last uh, half a year or so since our last release um, so yeah there you go if you want to see something in particular in MX or antics antics is uh, rolling right along as well living the system D free lifestyle on antics on this guy over here, despite the fact that it has an MX Linux sticker, it actually has Antics 17.1 installed. Actually, it has an Antics 17 installed on it, because I've just been keeping that thing up to date over time, but I've never bothered to reinstall it. Um, I might be getting that confused with my live USB, because I usually run Antics off the live USB. Now I don't remember. <laughs> but at any rate, probably the same. It's probably both Antics 17, because I don't think I've... Uh, have used the new ISO. Any rate, doesn't matter. If you got any questions? Throw them down in the in the comments. Uh, put put a post in the uh, MX forums or the Annex forums. I generally check those all the time, and uh, I'll see to try to help you out. For tips, tricks, how tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.